High fives, party handshakes, all that, fist bumps. Say hi to Bill Squire, he's here too. Hey, keep it up. Mary Santora is in Midtown Manhattan. What up? And you are with us as well. If you want to join us live, uh, no shortage of ways to do that. You can call us. Those numbers are 216 578 1007 or 800 348 1007. Text me 35192. You can listen on the iHeartRadio app and leave talkback messages there. A lot of people opt to contact the show that way. Looking over some of the first texts coming through. Did you post a series of stories, Mary? I did. Okay. Is that what it's about? Oh, I guess this one. Well, what I texted you about earlier is also about that series of stories. So if you want to do that now, we can do that now. <laughs> oh, oh, what you... Yeah. Uh, okay, well, all right, yeah. Yeah, do it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. I didn't see the stories. Well, this is it, another episode of Alan Was Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it's Mary, that's like, every day on this show. It's, it's not every day. 20 plus hours of programming on WMMS. No. It's not every day. Okay. I will say um, you're very rarely right, which is why I have to make an entire show about it when hmm. you aren't right. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's more of something you used to say to Cody all the time than to like me, but you would always tell Cody, nobody's looking at you. You would always tell him, nobody cares about you. Nobody is paying attention to what you're doing but you. Well, I would say that in a way to try to support him right. against, right, not that nobody cares about him. No, but no, that... no. Like in public. Yeah, like exactly. Like no one cares right. what yeah. your shoes look like. Yep. Like that kind of a thing. Like you yep. would always say that to Cody. And That's true series... of all of us, not just him. Exactly. No, no, <laughs> right. no. But I'm saying like this isn't something you directly said to me kind yeah. of a thing, right? Sorry, I had to fix my mic. So um, last night I was laying in bed and I was just like thinking and I was like, man, Helen was right. Nothing matters, dude. Nobody is paying attention to you. And living in New York, I think, has just fully shown me that in a different way because it's so big and there's so many people here that I'm like, no one has time to give a crap about anyone but themselves, right? Yeah, but you kind of already knew that. I mean... But not to this extent. And yeah. then I also didn't know if it's because, like, I'm going to be 35 soon. I'm not young, right? Am I hitting the point in my life where I'm just out of Fs to give? Because I feel like for the first time in my life, I'm really coming into my own you're... In a confidence level where I'm like, yo, I don't really care what you think. I like truly, I don't care if you think my shirt is too tight. I don't care if you think I'm not funny. I don't like I'm going to well, we do, do care. what I want to do. I get what you're saying, but we are in a weird spot in that we do care what people we do care if people think we're funny. This is more about life. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, more yeah. about life yeah. than work. Yeah. Like, just living my life and existing. Gotcha. I don't really care if the person I run into has a positive interaction what with me, sparked this whole philosophical uh, undertaking here nothing i was oh. literally just laying in bed and i was just laying there getting ready to go to sleep and i was like dude nothing matters but in a very <laughs> freeing way in uh -huh. a very like you didn't even listen to your own advice what are you talking about? You, you said nothing head. matters. Nothing matters is literally your special that you named because you had this epiphany like two no, years I ago. I, you. This is not Next, you're going to tell us I you had. just realized that you were hillbilly and bougie. Yeah. No, there's a hey, second Hey, are you part also living this. for you? Hold on. There's a second part to this. There's the nothing matters in like, I'm going to kill myself. Nothing matters. Everything sucks. Nothing matters. Like, there's that nothing the matters. Denialism. Yeah. And I think that's where I was before. I because see. When I titled that album Nothing Matters, I was pissed off. I had one chance to record this album. Somebody heckled me 18 seconds into it. I didn't get to do it in Cleveland. Like, I titled that Nothing Matters in a negative way. And I feel like yesterday I had this very overwhelming Nothing Matters in a positive way. Yeah. In a, like, freeing, oh, just do you. Nobody's paying attention. Well, I think Nobody that's different. Cares. I think that's different than nothing matters. Like, I'm not a nothing matters guy. I just think that people, the things that we think matter are not really the things that matter. People, 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 people are very focused on things. Yeah. Yeah. This is, uh, this is just the book, um, The Secret Art of Not Giving an F. Yes. I never read or that sacred, book. Whatever it's called. But, it, but it's that book. And this has been a mindset of, you know, that I've, I've, gotten better at it's something you kind of have to work at because when you're putting too much 
uh, emphasis or too much uh, energy into whether it's social media stuff or what people think of your clothes or whatever it is, it's going to affect you negatively because you can't control that. And when you just go, hey, I put this on. I like the way I look. Yes. We good, baby. That's all more, I care about. Yes. This is now, that is a horrible top you're wearing today. But <laughs> what is she wearing? I was like just testing you. Oh, it's I was just <laughs> testing you. No, but I meant. You I passed mean, with flying color. Yeah. I fully mean this in a life way. I mean, yes, it's our job to care if people find us funny for entertainment, radio, stand-up purposes. But again, we don't need everybody to think us fun. we're funny. We just need an audience to think we're funny. Even, even was- in that audience. If there's one or two people that don't like you, Patrice O'Neill always said, no matter how hard you're killing, there's always going to be 5% of the crowd that's like, I don't like this person. <laughs> right. No matter who it is. A part of it, too, was wearing my cowboy boots yesterday. And I had some people New commenting. New goofing. Well, I had some people commenting being like, you're not country. You don't, do, like, you can't oh deserve God. to wear those. Like, you've never worked Look on a farm. Like, that kind of boots. stuff. And that's my God. point. It's like, that You don't deserve to wear boots. That would have really bothered me, I feel like. That would have been like, yeah, but so what if I've never worked it? Like, I would have felt the need to defend my right to also, wear Also, they don't know what you've done. Right. They don't know that you've never shoveled. I've shoveled crap at a horse farm because my older daughter was an equestrian. We're for 15 the years. Proverbial crap every day on this show. Every oh, day. Yeah. I got my own uh, monogrammed shovel. I've it shoveled was, actual horse crap. It was more like, I don't care if you don't think I have a right to wear these boots. They're my boots. What I right? love them. <laughs> I can't believe you ever care. Yeah. That's but I a- did. I truly did. And this was a conversation I feel like you specifically would have more with Cody, but with Cody and I. Yeah. About like, because. He'd be nervous where he's like, I'm standing in line and I don't want people to be looking at me thinking, oh, what's that guy over there standing looking like that? <laughs> but the truth is no one is looking no at No one's you. thinking about it. Here, and, ex- and it's exhausting. Right. Yeah. It's, right. And not even and a, pointless. It's not so even in free. just a way <laughs> where you think about it in that aspect. Because I've been like, I've not cared what people think looks wise in a long time, obviously. But, uh, <laughs> 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 but uh, when you just interacting with your friends and you're like he- telling them stuff and these are people that care about you these aren't like haters or anything this is just your friends but they have so much going on that you go hey this is when this thing is Th- for example this sunday raj suresh a buddy of mine was featuring for me at hilarities told him a million times what time the show was what time the show was and then 15 minutes before the show, he's like, 7.30, right? I'm like, no, <laughs> 7. <laughs> I because, told you. And it's not any fault of his. It's just you got so many things jumbling around in your head, people aren't that focused on what you're doing. Now, I I feel like. Yeah, but that is his fault. It is, yeah. but it isn't. It is. Well, I, it's not. It, it, that's different. Okay, that's no, no, no. It, well, it's an here, appointment. Here's what I'm saying, though. Like, I mean, he did find out that day. So it wasn't like oh, okay. he had a, like, yeah. it was. But I. Wasn't mentioned it time. several times, yeah. but he had other things going on. It was it was kind of like a you know last minute thing, but he still. I'm just using that as a way of saying, even our friends aren't thinking about us as much as we think they are. Well, a buddy of mine, because I've been getting like when I first moved here, I talked about it on the air that I got my feelings hurt a lot, and I felt like all these people that I thought were my friends aren't really my friends or whatever, whatever. And another comic um, who I really really enjoy as a person. His name is Monroe Martin. He's hilarious. Monroe. 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 He's a good dude. Yeah, he's he's a giant. He's like six foot five, two hundred and fifty pounds. Like he is a huge man, but he's like so kind and gentle, which I love that juxtaposition. But he, you was know, they call me, that Mary, gentle giant, a gentle giant. But he was telling me he was like, nothing's personal until it's personal. Essentially, saying the same thing. Nobody's mad at you no one's unless someone is directly using your name and talking crap like you'll know when someone is paying attention or when someone is starting crap or and when even someone then cares. even then you might care that's what i mean and it's this is great i don't know why just last night this I all feel like kind you've never seen a teen once. movie like this. But it, never, it never registered. I feel like it never registered. Like, like, Her teen movies were like in the early aughts. They yeah, were terrible. No, but they're still coming of age movies and like lessons in like movies. A, this is like a coming of age thirty five. Right. Better late than you never, what I'm homie. Saying? This is different than when you're eighteen and you're like, oh my god, I can be friends with the weird girl. Like, 
That's what this is Mary's. This well, is her. It's kind of the same lesson as like you can just do what you want and not worry about what other people think. This is her midnight epiphany. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought about you, Alan, where I was like, Alan's been saying nobody's looking at you for years. <laughs> I never listened. Now you're going to get hit by a car. Yeah. I, no. Because I, <laughs> I nobody's people, looking at you. I love nobody how people are so you. shocked that I know some things or that I might have some insight into something. It's but almost like you're 20 years older than me. <laughs> listen. It's almost <laughs> like I've been around. living for it's a while. Like you and, should listen. Ah, uh, listen. Well, I'm glad. I'm Listen, I'm glad you got to that. I did. I'm glad. I, now stick and, to it. Whatever that texture said, that's I posted like three or four stories in a row last night where I was like, listen, because I said my confidence from being in New York City in life, not stand up, just existing as a human, my confidence has skyrocketed because of letting this go. Because I'm like, you know what? I found these bodysuits. They're tight. I don't have to wear a bra with them. And sure, maybe sometimes they're, they look a little too tight, right? But I'm like, but they're comfortable. I don't have to wear a bra. And I really like the way I look in them. So wearing those around it, I'm like, oh, and guess what? Nobody on the subway is looking at my friggin' belly. Like, none of it matters. Mary posted some video of her trying these things on, oh. trying to get into them. <laughs> oh. They sound comfortable. <laughs> so they're a little tight. They're a little tight, but I'm saying, like, my confidence has risen because of this mindset. Because I'm, like, truly understanding Yo, do what you want. You want to wear the shirt, wear the shirt. You want to wear the crazy makeup, wear the makeup. If you want to have double lunches, have double lunches. Two lunches. I saw a fully naked homeless man brushing his feet with a broom the other day. Do you understand? <laughs> now, Is some, people, yes. some people it, might be looking at that. Is but it mental Just illness? in passing. It's mental illness, but it's also freeing. How yeah. freeing is that? That if things get really bad, just fully naked, get a house broom, and brush your feet off. This you know? is what Generation X has known for <laughs> half a century, my love. I don't know what, what? to tell you. I'm going to make you an honorary Gen Xer because of Thank this. Thank you. Well, yes, I'm learning it. The I'm forgotten, it ignored generation, and we couldn't be happier. Well, I, I like it. Mazel tov. I, I know we got to go to break, but what did the texter say? Oh, they, th well, I'll tell you that 